Next fight on the docket, Roman Dolice and Loreano Steropoli. Now, what is very interesting about this fight is Steropoli brings this really good kicking game to the UFC, and Dolice now working at, you know, a, a camp like Extreme Couture that are focusing so much on strength and conditioning. Finally, just finally, maybe we can see Dolice pull off one of those full three round barrages that we were, were so excited to see, right? If you want to analyze the Trevin Giles fight, I mean, it was close, but you just, again, Trevin Giles looked like the winning fighter. I mean, Delice gets tired. You know, if you look at that, uh, the one fight against, oh, I've been wanting to talk about this one and I completely forgot the name, sorry guys, but the John Allen fight. That John Allen fight was one where you really thought he had such an upper hand. Now he won the fight, he won it via split decision. But what was the issue in that fight? It was 100% cardio. It was 100% over output. Like the amount that he was trying to throw in that first round and a half just kind of dictates why he looks the way he does in that one and a half rounds after the fact, right? That's where I want to see him manage his energy, throw straight punches, get the, you know, the cool thing about Delice's game is he's got very, very deadly striking from a power perspective and from a pressure perspective and his wrestling and his ground game is there. It's just the style that he has requires so much energy. And so if that's something that you're struggling with, it's just interesting to see that if you can't finish the fight early, or finish the fight at all, it's just, it's becoming a tough, tough go in the later parts of the fight. So, you know, John Allen split decision, Trevin Giles, uh, you know, unanimous loss, definitely explainable. That's another L for us, but I definitely picked a uh, Roman Delizia on the pick -um. Always happy to accept the Ls, but that's the reason why. And, and I believe that with the strength and conditioning program and with trying to manage that cardio and really land efficiently, as opposed to just going crazy in some of these fights, Roman Delice should be an exponentially better fighter because now he's going against a guy like Serapoli, who, like I just said, when you analyze the fight against Muslim Salikov, you know, his first round was so great. So many kicks, really likes to dictate pace, push it as much as he can, but he faded and Salikov really took over that fight. Tim Means, I took Tim Means against Serapoli in that fight. Why? Because in the areas where I see Serapoli do well early on in the fight, he does get figured out. And Tim Means is actually a great fighter who figures people out as the fight prolongs. So if you're fighting Tim Means and you don't get away with really, really, really tough, tough rounds where you slowed him down and his brain's barely working, you know, come rounds two and three, he does figure people out and he does find ways to pull off those volumes, you know, those volume combos and those types of, you know, point battles on the feet. He's really good at that. And so that's where I think Serapoli, who's actually seen two guys like that in Muslim Salikov, who's a Kung Fu, you know, master and, you know, a guy like um, Tim Means, who's a really good boxer and striker. Now he's taking on a guy like Roman Delice, who might not be as good with the reading of the striking games across the board, like your uh, Trevin Giles, or sorry, your Tim Means and your Muslim Salikovs, but he's going to push the pace. And I think he's going to force Serapoli to be aggressive early on in the fight. Now, with both these guys being the type to slightly fade in the last few rounds, what we could be looking at is an absolute barn burner from both these guys and one guy getting a really close split decision. The only thing that I really want to give the edge to for Roman Delice is just that, yeah, man, I think that his improvement overall can be there, especially with what he's been working on and who he's been working with. I think in MMA today, that's what it all comes down to. There's a reason why there's big, you know, the big camps are where everybody wants to go to between, you know, Sanford and AKA and, and, and American top team and extreme couture, like the best training partners and the best coaches are going to just, you know, equate the best results and, that's what I'm excited for in this fight because it's really going to prove if the work that Delice is putting in and very much becoming just a better athlete is going to show in what is probably the biggest fight of his life on a main card, you know, semi-co-headlining a, a fight with, you know, guys like, you know, big time heavyweights, uh, Rosenstrike and um, Sakai. So with that said, I mean, you know, it'd be, I'd be lying if I said I didn't think this fight was crazy close game plans and the way they fight. It seems like one guy likes to use the kicks, one guy likes to use the punches a bit more and then slowly fade and then try to get into a bit more of a grappling match, a bit more of a grinder match, see if some dirty boxing can get you into optimum places. But that's what's going to make this fight exciting is that you don't really know which guy's going to be able to pull through after that first round. So 
with the lines in mind, let's see where we can go. I'm just going to quickly take a look at some of the stats here. And, you know, I think Delice's defensive ability is the one thing that stands out. So I, I do think he should be the favorite, but not by much. And no, I mean, he opened as a plus 130 dog. Steripoli coming as a minus 150 favorite. And then that swapped right like that. That's completely swapped. Delice is coming in now as a minus 150 favorite. Steripoli coming in at plus 120 on average. And then our boys at Bet365 who are having fun with life right now have Delice as a minus 163 and Steripoli as a plus 120. So obviously if Steripoli was your original bet, that's the place where you want to keep going. But Roma Delice is definitely getting some value on other sites there. If that's something that you want to, you know, dabble in. I'm personally leaning Roman Delice. I think that the potential of him getting better in those later rounds is what's going to make him the better fighter. And Steripoli, like I said, if those kicks are flying early on, he's going to be able to do some good damage and maybe Tyro deletes a lot earlier to pull off some of his own grinding work and maybe get a, a, a stoppage, if not, you know, definitely a decision win. So look out for that one. It's going to be a close fight. Clear the lines, say the same thing.